Day three of the Stop the Galamse protest indeed has attracted some personalities, including um, Efia Odo and some media personalities that I can identify. And just now, Honorable John Dumelo, the uh, parliamentary candidate for the Ayer also hold on. Ayer also uh, constituency is also joining the protest. Let's try out, I mean, what made him come here because indeed he's not here as a parliamentary candidate but also as a protester. But what is his main mission? And is he also joining his voice asking for the 54 protesters who are currently serving a remand the release? What do you mind? Talk to me now. You are here. We didn't see you day one, day two. Today is day three. Why are you here? Oh, good morning. Um, I'm here because I'm joining the protesters to protest. Um, day one, day two, I was doing more of online um, advocacy, but day three today, I said, let me just spend uh, some time here with the protesters. And I think we are here not because of NDC. I mean, even though I'm the parliamentary candidate for IRS West for on the ticket of I'm not here because of that. I'm here because we want cleaner water and the galamse should be stopped. And that's why I'm here. You think Leonardo will hear? I mean, by now he's heard it. And, I, I, he, you know, Leonardo is giving that kind of I don't care vibe. He's giving that kind of ENTOBR vibe. But I don't think that's the kind of legacy he wants to leave. I mean, he has less than two months left. And I don't think he wants to leave that kind of, uh, if I may say, uh, uncouth legacy, uh, which is the Galamse. And as I said, NDC want to take advantage of these to uh, secure more votes. Like Dr. Fie said, they will not stop Galamse today or tomorrow because the NDC is taking advantage of it to uh, get, get votes. Nobody is taking, ad take taking advantage of it. I'm sure most of the people who are protesting today I doubt the NDC, I doubt the MPP, I, I mean, I doubt, I don't know their political affiliation. But what we are saying is that the government of the day should do something about the Galamse. Because, you know, we start importing water soon, which is bad. I mean, uh, of course, you've seen the pictures of our uh, polluted water bodies. You've seen mining in forest reserves. And then, of course, uh, we don't know why in, 20, in 2022, they passed the LI2462, uh, you know, giving permission to people to mine in forest reserves. I mean, which is unheard of. And so we are here to protest. We need clean drinking water. And it's surprising that most of the MPP members are silent on this issue. I mean, most especially the Minister of Re Water Resources. I mean, this is water that we are talking about. Mm. And I doubt she's even visited any Galamse site. I doubt she's visited any water body to say, oh, you know what, let's do something about it. And this is our future we are talking about. I mean, I have kids and we want to make sure that during their time they would have clean drinking water to, to, to drink. We want to make sure that we have clean drinking water uh, to drink and that is why we are here. You think the NDC would have done better with this uh, situation? Yes, most definitely. I mean, I, I don't want to compare, but of course during uh, the, the NDC time, I don't think the water was this polluted. And, and so that's why we are saying that Nanado, who is the head, Nanado, who is the president, he should do something about it because forever and ever, I mean, he said, of course, he's, he's putting his presidency on the line. And so he doesn't, I don't think he wants to leave this kind of uncouth uh, 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 legacy. Yeah, great. Thank, Thank you. you. I so did much. for you. All right. Thank I did you. For you. All right.